So today I'm going to be look, you know, looking at editing and creating static pages in your repository. So what do I mean by a static page? Well, anytime you go to a page of, of, of information, just a kind of a static web page of content, this is a static page. Traditionally, you print ships with a kind of a home page, an about page. We also have, though it's not linked in this case, a help page. So um, these are just pieces of HTML that you can look at in your repository. Um, to edit these, we have the admin interface where we can view configuration and we can have a look at the static pages of the repository. So we have here the contact page, the index page, the information page, and we can click to edit them, uh, to view and edit them. So here, here is the HTML of, and let's make it a bit bigger, here is the HTML of this static page. Uh, it's very dense. Uh, don't worry too much about it. If you're familiar with HTML, it should all be quite obvious. Um, and then you can edit from here. The alternative way, if we are logged in as an administrator, is when we're looking at a static page, like the About page, we have this Edit Page link in the menu up here. So let's click on that, and that brings up the editor which the best way to edit, I think, is to pop open the Edit X page uh, window, and this has in it the HTML. Now, the, the, it is slightly extended HTML. We have these kind of X page title tags, X page body, um, and we can include things like configuration variables. So this is the admin email. But if we type in... Um, if you have any problems, please contact Derek in your library. So we'll stick a new paragraph in there. Uh, closing the tag, you have to be very careful. It's strict HTML. I mean, if we don't, if we don't close the tag and we try to save it, we'll get this error message come up. Um, so the repository does give you some support, but I would advise you being quite careful. Oh, it's running quite slowly. I'd advise you being quite careful with making sure that the HTML is valid. Um, so we have this rather cryptic error message that appears here. Opening and ending mismatch P. So we'll pop this back open. Here we have this P tag that's open, and it's not closed properly over here. So I will close that. Save the changes. And that has um, changed our about page. If you have any problems, please contact Derek in the library. So that's simple uh, to, to edit existing pages. But what about creating new pages? For that, you have to use the, uh, the admin configuration tool. So we're going to view the configuration. And we have, if we look in lang en static, we have all of these pages and we can create a new file at this level and let's call this uh, let's call this um, owls.xpage um, now the best way to get going with one of these is to copy the content of an existing one so I'm going to pop out the langen static directory again and we're going to grab something from contact.xpage. So all I want to do is copy the content of the, pa uh, of the page so that I can paste it into it so I can make sure that I have the right structure to the file. And I'm going to edit my owls.xpage page. I'll paste this in. So we have... Um, give it a title, we'll call this Owls, and everything between, so the, 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 the head of it, this part, the structure is quite important, and then between the opening of body and the, cl uh, of, and the closing of body, that's where the details of the page are. This, everything in between this and this is a comment, so let's just get rid of that. And we have our fresh page 
and we're going to put some content on it. Owls, owls, owls. Some HTML, owls with out with owls. Let's put it into paragraphs. And let's put a list of owls. So just just some some HTML. And save that. Now if I go to now training1.eprints.org slash owls.html I get my brand new page come up but what if I wanted to link it in to the menu um, then I need to edit the template now by default the template's global but I've moved one locally which would should be the case in your repository um, if you look in the configuration you should either have a templates directory with your with your default XML template in or it will be in lang en there might be a template directory here but whichever one you're using pop it open and this is typically more complex but we have this home about browse which is what we're looking for and we have here this is the navigation we've got uh, the home we've got the about so what we're going to do is we're going to edit this to add a new link to the template, and uh, I can't stress enough that that on a production repository, this will typically be an institutional template, so maybe more complex, um, will be very different from what this looks like. Uh, running slowly again. we go so what we will do is we will take one of these bullet points this uh, sorry this uh, list elements in the menu we'll put it after the about we'll paste it in again being very careful with the HTML structure and we will put our owls.html link in there and inside here we're not using a system phrase we're just going to put text owls when we save that, we now have in our menu the owls link, which links to our page about owls. And that's it.